and we would talk about models of manhood. And all of us, common denominator, okay, all of, almost all of us, 90% of those in groups came from dysfunction, dysfunctional homes. Either walang tatay or iniwan sila ng tatay nila. So, ako nga, grabe, 90% of the men that I'm meeting uh, came from uh, homes where there's no dad or the dad is so passive or the dad is another woman. And one of the things that we common denominator now for everyone was this. Most of our manhood lessons we learn from church community. Ibang klase na nagpapasalamat kami na nasa victory kami dahil nung bata kami meron pang nag-anchor sa amin na tumulong sa amin when it comes to manhood. Now, I love my dad. My dad is a great dad. He's a great provider. He loves his, 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 his wife and he's been a good father to us. Wala akong reklamo sa daddy ko pero may mga bagay na hindi kaya ibigay ng daddy ko. May mga bagay magaling daddy ko pero kailangan din ng other men around us who would help us in our journey uh, towards manhood. And this is what church offers. Kaya tayo part ng isang community, you've got to take advantage of this. In this room, you would have valuable lessons from other men who would help you succeed in life. I have never failed to still have coffee with successful business people, with, with fellow pastors, and really get impartation from them. Right? Hindi porket nagsulat ako ng libro, expert na ako. Nagsulat ako ng libro kasi narinig ko sinabi nila, sinulat ko lang. Ako yung komita, no? So, <laughs> but this is what church community is all about, right? And we want you to fight for this, okay? Wag nyo, wag nyo, do not neglect this, sabi sa Hebrews, yeah? Let's not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing. Fight for relationships within the church that would help push each other to Christ-likeness and really to biblical manhood, right? Right? Kasi nung ginugel namin yung manhood sa Pilipinas, ang lumabas na website, number one manhood website in the Philippines, is a website of men posting uh, women in two-piece bikini. Tapos may rating kung kano ka-sexy. No? So, sa, parang na-burden kami. Parang, eto na ba yung pwede? Pag ginugel mo ang tunay na lalaki na word and manhood in the Philippines, yan yung lalabas. At wala nang iba. Walang ibang website kundi panay babae or softcore porn or porn. So sabi na, we've got to do something about this. And thus, we started the website. We never knew it would become a movement. Last year, it reached 1 million unique visitors. No? Ibig sabihin ko makalit na siya. At maraming nagbabasa mga babae dahil pinaforward nila sa boyfriend nila. No? <laughs> so yung iba sa inyo, alam ko galit kayo sa akin pero... It's not my fault, okay? Uh, <laughs> pumasok yung girlfriend niyo doon o yung asawa niyo doon at nagsusumbong, alright? And, and, and so we started this. And we're thankful to God. And we really, the heart of Act Like a Man is to bring manhood back to our generation. What it means to be a real man, right? In my book, I've discussed about the four uh, makeup of a man. The, the man is a king, okay? Ibig sabihin, you're, we're called to lead. We're benevolent leaders. Okay? We're kings. We're not tyrants. Dapat hindi takot yung girlfriend mo o yung misis mo sa'yo. Hindi pag-uwi ng bahay, parang, lo, andyan na siya. I hope you're a king. Okay? Not only are you king, but you're a warrior. Okay? Now, I won't discuss this, no, kasi you can read the book. Okay? The warrior means we're there to protect. We're there to protect our wife. We're there to protect our kids. As you can see the picture of my wife. Uh, nandiyan pa ba yung picture? Okay? Wala na. Okay? But, um, uh, my wife is actually a, a print model, okay? So, nagmamodel wife ko. Bagay kami kasi ako role model ako eh. No, so, uh, <laughs> but then, your wife, God gives, gave us our wives and our responsibility is to protect them. Not just our wives, but also our kids, okay? And we're called to be warriors, okay? Now, hindi tayo war freak. Ibig sabihin ng warrior, hindi naghanap yan ng, la- ng away. Pero pagka may nakipag-away, marunong lumaban yan. Right? And I think that's how we must be as Christian men. We don't look for fights. Yung iba kasi war freak eh. Diba? Lahat na lang kinocomment nyo sa Facebook. Wala na ba kayong ibang magawa? Diba? Don't be a war freak. Okay? But just learn what to fight for and when to fight. Okay? Men are called to be warriors. Next is men are called to be teachers or what we call in our context, disciple makers. Diba? Kay Adam binigay yung command na sabi mo sa misis mo, do not eat the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. 
It was not given to Eve. It was given to Adam because it was given that Adam was the one who will disciple his wife. Okay, we are teachers. We're disciple makers. If you're here today and you're part of this church and you know that you should know that you have a big role to play as men in church. Hindi pwedeng ikaw yung nauupo every Sunday, wala kang ginagawa. Pagpasok mo dito, upo ka lang, tapos after 1 or 30 minutes, uwi ka na. Medyo mahiya ka. Why? We're called to be disciple makers. Dapat tayo yung active sa church. Kasi sabihin ko, pag yung mga babae naging active sa church, may flower dito on a Sunday. Okay? Amoy laban there ang ano. It should be different. Alright? Men take charge. We're disciple makers. If you look throughout scripture, what do you see? Who will God reach out to? The father. Why? Diba? If the father gets saved, automatic, the wife and the kids get saved. Ganon yung authority ng isang lalaki. And we want to bring that back. Yeah? Now, ang hirap to bring that back, pag yung lalaki hindi marun mag-lead, walang alam, walang laman, walang content. Diba? Yung misis parang napro-prostrate. But, but parang bata ka pa rin. Diba? Tanda-tanda mo na. Diba? And because we're not working on that, and I'll be discussing that later on. And lastly, man is a friend. You've got to have your band of brothers. You've got to have other men around you. Dapat ang best friend mo, hindi yung ex mo. Okay? <laughs> Mrs. mo, and a group of men in your church community. You've got to have, you have to surround yourself with godly men. And not just, I'm not just talking about any kind of men, but men who would push you to Christ like this.